Yeah, hang on. What do we got here? So we've got another enemy, do we? We've got another enemy. Another enemy. Another What's this enemy. one? This one is a pied. Pied. So like if you had spider. Let's see what you've done. That's very clever. But you get rid of that. It's a pied. Very clever. So the pied um, doesn't have many animations. It uh, grows its legs. It's just going to sit there as a ball. Um, when it's not chasing you around, and then it comes after you. Now this one, it doesn't have an attack animation because it's just its goal is to run up to you and explode, uh, so you know, chase after you and blow up. Um, so it doesn't need a dedicated attack animation. It doesn't need a dedicated like death animation or a pain animation because it's just gonna explode and be gone. So as soon as you hit it once, it goes boom. That's it. Yep, yeah. yep. So yeah, even if you hit it with your like ranged weapon, hit it once and it just explodes. And uh, now this enemy is a little bit of a nod to a game that Mike used to play back in the early nineties. Um, see if you can work out what that is. Um, little hint, not of any sort of action genre. So yeah, good luck. What do you reckon? Some of you might recognise this immediately. <laughs> I would. <laughs> and, uh... We'll see. That's pied. Pied. Very nice. Pied. Very nice pied. Thank you. I'm animating! Look at me go! <laughs> um, I'm making this guy. He's an enemy that's got chains for arms. He runs around and hits you with them. When he hits you, he causes bleeding. And yeah, that's what he does. So he's still okay. Dude, check out, check him out! Oh, you got fucking. He stands there, and then he goes, Oh, oh I've got to come and get you. And then he's all like, Whoa! That's a bit fast. Oh, you know. You're... There, he's like, oh. He's like, Oh, I'm going to get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and he goes the other way, and he goes, Ah! And you hit him, and he goes, Oh! That's about it. He's just a dude. He's just a dude. He's still going. He's nearly done. He's pretty cool. Then I have to put him in the game. But I don't want to put things in the game right now, so I'm doing animations instead because it's something different. And sitting there doing the code, like, is driving me up the wall, so I'm doing this instead. So, that's it. Um, so, I have just finished up. I'm doing the colors for this enemy. So um, it's a guy that crawls along. He's got no legs. He's a little bit of a little bit of a look -see. So we'll just uh, crawl after you pretty slowly, probably. Um, got an attack animation. I quite like his idol. So like before he spots the player in the level, he is just gonna hang out, spin his head around. Doing some Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. Um a death animation's pretty cool how he splits in half as well. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross. So he's just kinda all green and gross and slimy. So he's done. He's one of the ones that started on my like big enemy like page that was just a whole bunch of ideas see where they go so that's something that's come off that which is good that's about all I have to say about him I think just a dude just a dude just a dude crawls along he's gonna get you
I'm doing some AI debugging. So if you look on the screen, you'll see that it's covered in even more debug shit than what it used to be. Well, I apologize for everyone who's getting sick of seeing debugging stuff. Um, what you're looking at here is part of the AI grid. Red means you can't go there. Green means you can go there. Um, and this is used to uh, to tell the AI, you know, where they can pass to if it's blocked or if, you know, they can actually freely walk so you can see objects like that down the bottom, um, down here, or like, you know, under any of the tables and that sort of thing that it's read underneath them because they, you know, they can't walk through that. So, basically, um, the, the reason I'm sort of going through and rejigging this is these big guys here have been a a bit of an issue when there's more than one of them and they tend to crowd up um, now they, there is like an avoidance AI built in where they try to avoid each other to a certain extent but because these are such big dudes um, it's not it wasn't made with them in mind it was made with guys about this size so it works well for them they tend to not stack up on top of each other but these guys do tend to stack up now, what I can do um, is adjust the pre-existing um, AI routine that we have to push them out of each other's way. But the problem with that is they tend to slide around a bit and it looks a bit janky and shit. So, uh, you probably, here's a good example of it here because there's so many dudes that are right in the run room. They're all gonna start to slide into each other. It'll be slightly lessened by what's going on at the moment where they're reserving spaces. But this isn't fit up perfect. See how they're all stacked up on top of each other there? So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, it's obviously not done at the moment. These guys are going to reserve space um, whenever they're moving. So it's going to update quicker than what it is at the moment. It's lagging behind where they actually are. And obviously this is running at like half speed so I can actually see what's going on. But, um, the goal is to get these guys to actually reserve space so they don't stand on top of each other. Um, because, yeah, as soon as we start adding bigger enemies, the problem's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And that's fun. internet camera do you want me to tell you what I'm working on yes I'm working on Zorlost Zorlost the destroyer <laughs> what is Zorlost Zorlost um Zorlost is um Zorlost the floating mouth with tentacles and an eyeball inside Oh, of course. Like, why, but, why, yeah, why even bother yeah. asking? Also, with teeth. So, Zorlost is gonna um, be like a, a ranged enemy. Zorlost is gonna shoot something from his eye. Um, yeah, I'm just doing some animations. Just doing the idle and the move animation. And uh, I'm gonna do his pain animation next. I think it would be kind of cool if he like sheds a little tear when he gets hit. <laughs> we'll see if we'll see if that happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me show you some Zorlast animation. Oh yeah, yeah, show us what you got. Yeah, that's kind of horrifying. Yeah. And that's when he comes after you. Great! Wow! Yeah. I have done it. I am a genius, but I'm trying to get um a bunch of enemies to follow me, so just give just give me a minute. Will you? Because otherwise I can't actually demonstrate it because it'll just be one enemy and it'll just do exactly what he's been doing. But it is it is done. I've done the thing where they all they 
the way they reserve their spot, their area that, that is now theirs, and everyone has to go around, it has changed slightly, so... Let's see if I can actually get some more enemies. I seem to have spawned in a level with like two guys, which isn't that great. In fact, I'm just going to spawn a whole new level because I can't be bothered running around in slow motion trying to find the rest of them. Oh, come on! Oh, there's one. Okay, we got one. But you can see that updates far more regularly now as he runs along. His little reserved spot. If I can get some more, I should start shooting because they're attracted to gunfire. So even the big fellas only reserve a small amount of area, but it's all that you really need because the code that was already there that pushes them out of each other's way still functions. So yeah, it basically means that when they go to attack you, they have to be sort of uh, a minimum distance from each other, whereas before, they could basically stack right up on top of each other, but then they would sort of get pushed out of the way. So now they, they path specifically for a different area. Um, it also means that certain things can happen if you have enough enemies following you that you can actually block up a hallway so they can't get through at all, in which case they, they either have to sort of queue up behind and wait for a gap or they will, they will try to path around if another path exists. Otherwise they'll literally wait. But you can see it there how he's actually going around each other. It works well in these sort of smaller areas. You see he's going to go down and around. And that's fine. That distance he's, he's standing there, that is fine for me. Um, doesn't help these guys in the same colour as each other, but hey, all things that can change. But you'll see when one of them stops, oh, like him, he's gone up and around and he's got to go around that guy as well to actually get to me. And that's how it works. And it mostly works. We'll try it. I might make that bigger for the bigger guys, but uh, I think it should be okay. But now I've got to test and make sure that it doesn't affect performance too much. But no, looks like it's going all right. Oh, I forgot how fast the game was. <laughs> Oh, this is also the game without, um... Oh, what was I going to say? Without debug stuff all over the screen. Is this running faster than normal? Uh, or is I'm just used to it being this slow? Yeah, it looks pretty normal, I think. Yeah, so you can sort of see they all have to kind of get into the right spot around you. It also means that the existing behaviour for um, for enemies in that they, they reserve spots around you is sort of a bit more... It works a bit better now. Oh. Yeah, so they have to be sort of... They can't stack right up. They have to be slightly different distance away from each other. So I might make that bigger. I don't know. It's, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking at the moment. Time to kill them all. Bong. There you go, he's killed all of them because he's a prick. And the god's flipping out the corner. No, he's flipping out. Episode of Just Make Game presented in Bakesy Vision. Major funding for this episode of Just Make Game was provided by Vin Hill, Tyler Heil, Roman Kovalev, Max Windsor, Jano, Jason Tom Lee, Ivan Makarovich, Jin Yang, Evan N, Dennis Soy, Connor Bowen, Ben Kurznovsky, Batesy, Alan Pask, and viewers like you. 
All right, well, that wraps things up for this month. I think we say it every year, February is a really short month, but we're happy with the progress that we made. Um, I am working on a new tile set now, and Mike will be working on putting a whole bunch of the stuff we did actually in the game. So I look forward to seeing that next month. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to our patrons as well. And um, we'll see you back here next month for another episode. Bye. Coffee break time. <laughs> Don't spook me with the camera. <laughs> There's nothing spooky about the camera. <laughs> this is doing the clean function. The clean function. It's always important. I want a coffee. I want a coffee. I want a coffee. I want a coffee. I want a coffee.